Welcome to Daily Joys. In this episode I'm going to show you how to sow some seeds for my cutting garden. So come and have a look. Here I've got some trays that I'm going to use to plant my seeds into and I'm using John Innins seed compost for this. I find John Innins is the best and so I use it every year because I want to give my seeds the best possible start and it's worth spending that little bit extra just so that they get going. What I'm doing is I'm breaking up any little lumps that are inside from where the bags have been stored and I'm spreading it out evenly into the trays. Now the first seeds that I'm going to show, sow are Dahlia Bishop's Children and I'm going to sow Dahlia Pompon Mix and I'm going to show you what these seeds look like. So these are the Sarah Raven's Bishop's Children Dahlia seeds and they come inside a little packet inside the envelope and so I'm just going to pour them out onto my hand and you can see that these seeds are easy for you to handle and so if you just take one at a time and put them into your seed tray and spread them out nice and evenly along it so that they're not too close together I'm going to do three seeds across so that they have enough space to get going without competing with each other's for space and then it means when it comes to take them out it's much easier without disturbing all the roots from the other ones. So now I'm going to show I'm going to put some of the compost on top or just a nice thin layer and then I'm going to flatten it down and put this label on so that I remember what they are. Next I'm going to show you the Dahlia pompon mix. So I'm going to pour these on to my hand so you can have a look at them. As you can see these seeds are almost identical to the last ones and so I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to spread them out nice and evenly by hand onto the top of the compost and I'm going to make sure that they're not too close together so that the roots won't be competing with each other and so that it's easier to remove. And then I'll put the excess back into the packet so that I can use them again next year. And so I'm just spreading the compost onto the top on a nice thin layer and then I'll mist it so that it's nice and moist for the seeds to get growing and then I put them into my tray and then put the lid on top. Now these are my Cosmos Double Click Cranberries and next I'm going to show you Cosmos Sensation Mix and so I'll show you what these seeds look like. These are the Double Click Cranberries and I pour them out into my hand. As you can see these seeds are a little bit smaller than the Dahlia Mix but they're still easy to handle so I'm only going to use half a tray for this I'm not going to use a whole one and so I'm going to spread these out by hand onto the top of the compost. With these um, plants I find they're so prolific you don't actually need too many of them in your cutting garden because you get so many flowers from them and they flower all summer long. So now I'm going to put the label in and then I'm going to use the other half of the tray for the sensation mix and so I'm going to take these seeds out and they come in a little packet as well and so I'll show you what these seeds look like. As you can see they are identical to the cranberry click and so you need to make sure that you put things back into the right packet or you'll forget what they are. So I'm just going to spread these evenly on the other side of the compost making sure that there's lots of space in between each seed so that they don't have to compete with each other and then I'm going to spread a fine layer of compost onto the top and then pat it down. Now I'm going to plant carnation mix and I'm also going to be planting my antirhinum rust resistant mix. Now in these packets as you can see they have got a lot of seeds so one of them has a thousand seeds and the other one has 175 and you know when they've put this many seeds in the packet that they're going to be tiny seeds so be very careful when you're pouring them out and again I'm only going to use half of a seed tray for each seed packet so if I pour these out onto my hand these are the carnation mix they're really quite small they're not as small as the antirhinum seeds but they are quite small so I'm just going to spread these out across the top of the compost trying to make it as even as I can and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up the packets so that I can use them again next year 
and then pop the label in so you remember what they are. Now I'll show you what the antirhinum seeds look like and these are tiny. As you can see they're really really tiny but they make plants just the same as any other seed and so you just spread these on nice and thinly across the top of the compost. And then seal up the packet and pop the label in so you remember what they are. Now you need to put a fine layer of the compost onto the top and pat it down so that it's nice and level. And then you need to put it into your tray and then put the lid on top. You also need to give it a quick mist. Now and the Alstroemeria that I'm going to plant last, these are different. They have a two step process and it tells you about this on the packet. It says that for the first couple of weeks you need to keep them at 20 degrees and then after that you need to put them into the bottom shelf of your fridge and lower them down to 15 degrees for three weeks and then you need to take them out and put them back to 20 degrees. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Now these seeds are much larger as you can see and you get 20 in a packet although DT Brown gave me a couple more seeds and so I think I actually got about 22. So I'm spreading these nice and evenly across the top of the compost and if I manage to grow a few more than I need I will be able to either give them away or keep them in pots to see what colours they are so that I can then take out any that I don't like as much. So I'm just taking out any of the little lumps that were in there and then pat patting it down and then I'll give it a quick misting put the label in and put it into my propagator. I like this propagator because it's got a vent on the top of it and so I'm going to put these into this so that they get a bit of extra TLC. Thanks for watching. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up. Bye!